Hi, Brandy. Hi, Kat. You have another contraption. I do. I love Breville. <laughs> <laughs> so this is their juice fountain, the multi-speed version. Yes. Um, and so, you know, we always put in joke, and by we, I mean me, <laughs> that um, an espresso machine is basically a coffee juicer. It is. Um, so when I tasked you with incorporating a juicer into a coffee recipe, what did you come up with? I found an apple spice latte. Okay, so... <laughs> I'm a so, little worried, but I think it's going to be great. <laughs> okay. Um, so we're going to juice some fresh apples and yeah. mix that into our latte. Yeah, it's it's going to be made with almond milk, so it's not it's not cow's milk. Okay. Um, and I assume you could probably try it with soy milk, too. I don't think I would recommend it with cow's milk. Okay. Um, because of the acidity in the apples. May but, curdle it. May curdle it, but, you know, everyone's free to try what they want. As long as they're okay with maybe just a little more texture in their latte. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I guess first, so the multi-speed, you're able to choose um, a few different speeds depending on what you're juicing. So we're at um, the apple pineapple speed of yes. four. Four. Apple right. speed four. Apple speed four. <laughs> um, all right, so how much are you going to juice? Equivalent of three apples or about a half of a cup of apple juice. Okay, all right. Here Let's I go. go. That this is, you know, um, uh, additional sugar free because there's just the natural sugar in the apples. Yes. Did you take that into account when you chose the apple, or are you just like any apple will do? Um, I didn't go with Granny Smith purposely because I didn't want it to be too tart. Too tart, okay. Um, so I chose an apple that I didn't think would be that tart. Okay. So here we are. <laughs> cool. All right. Um, and but I did take that into account with the almond milk. It's unsweetened. Okay. Cool. So half cup of freshly squeezed apple juice is going into my half cup of um, what I've already poured of the almond milk. That looks so amazing. I know. How much almond milk? Half cup. Half cup. So mm -hmm. half cup each. Okay. Yep. One for one. I'm going to do this without spilling, hopefully. There we go. Yay! So it's all mixed together. Okay. And so now I'm going to steam it all. And, um, okay. Steam and then we'll do our shot yep. and we'll see how it goes. I'm so excited. Smells yummy. <laughs> Are we able to get much foam on it or? Um, I'm getting a little bit, but it it doesn't seem very dense to yeah. me. Yeah. I mean, it, I guess we did water it down with a bunch of juice. We, we did. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll try to make some brandy art out of it. <laughs> you gotta try and make an apple. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> That's easy enough. Just one big blob with a little divot on top, right? It reminds me of my snow-capped mountains. <laughs> exactly. I, I think it was the Via Venezia. <laughs> and then we'll pull our shots. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see how this... It's not horrible. Here, bring it, set it over here so I can... Yeah, it looks a little bit silky. All right, we'll set it aside. Time for some extraction, some espresso. espresso. Versus juice. I have my 
my double basket in here, so I'm gonna pull a double shot, but this recipe only calls for one shot. Or only a single shot espresso, yeah. okay. Unless you're making it for two, then you can use that second shot. Are you doing that over a garbage can, I hope? No, just for you. <laughs> There's a garbage can. I'm like, who am I talking to? Of course she is. <laughs> The full body tamp, yes. signature brandy tamp. I don't think I've done that in a while. You haven't. Well, <laughs> you let's be honest, you've been sticking with some super autos lately. Yes, and also So I'm glad you chose something that's a little more manual. Super auto and summer mode with my like cold exactly. options. So you're doing a single shot in this guy? Single shot. We're gonna make our apple art. <laughs> oh, there you go. A little foam my dollop stem. on the Oh top. my gosh! I nice! I it is apple it. art! <laughs> apple, um, almost a turn up too. <laughs> Turn up art. Okay. So now I'm gonna do a little dash of nutmeg and a little dash of cinnamon. Okay. And that's where our spice comes in. Or a big dash of cinnamon. The big dash, yeah. Whatever works. Okay. That is fantastic. Are you just playing it up for the camera or is it really good? It's really good. I think I would like even a little bit more of the apple juice flavor in there. Mmm. Yeah. Wow, that's really good. <laughs> I know we were both scared, but it works. <laughs> it's it's yeah. I would do a little bit more apple. Right. I mean, I think people who have um, mm. a sweeter tooth maybe even put um, a little bit of uh, Monin Pure Cane Syrup in there. Yeah. Or you could do a sweetened soy or or um, almond. Mm -hmm. Or um, alternately, you could do like a Honey Crisp apple, which is super sweet. Um, you could go with idea. one uh, apple that has a, a higher sugar content, but mm -hmm. that's really nice. It's yeah. got a nice apple-y little flavor to it, but it's not cloying. I dig it. Yeah, me too. Well, good job with your double juicing extravaganza Thank here, Brandy. You. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Bye, guys.